this web tutorial, we're going to discuss just a few things you're going to see in the Word Module 2 projects. The first thing we're going to discuss is modifying style sets. And so um, in this document on the Home tab, you have a bunch of style sets here. Um, but it doesn't just want you to apply it. It wants you to also modify it. So let's go ahead and choose one. We'll choose the no space. Um, right here, we're going to right click. We're going to click modify. And in here, you're going to be able to change the text. We could do Arial Narrow. Let's go ahead and change it to 20 size font. We can make it bold. You can do a lot of things here. Um, one of the things it's going to ask you to do is to change the line spacing, which you can do from here. But I encourage you to go to the format. Uh, paragraph settings because right here you can specifically set if you wanted to do 1.5 or double um, one of the things that's going to ask you to do is to um, remove the spacing after paragraph now the one I selected already has it that way but you might have six here after you want to change that to zero um, zero is what you want to do to remove the paragraph spacing afterwards you're gonna click OK and then click OK again and you want to select the text that it deals with and we changed it to this one. Notice it got, went ahead and applied those settings. Uh, it's going to have you center the title. Um, this would be the title for this. You would just put your cursor in this line and click center. That would go ahead and put that in the center. Something else that's going to ask you to do is to go into the header uh, and add a, a header. Now you could double click in here to enter the header but um, if you click insert and then uh, header here and I think it tells you a blank so you'll want to select blank and it brings you into the header um, it might tell you to type in something like a last name so we'll go ahead and put mine and then it's going to ask you to put a page number in um, so make sure that you select page number and make sure you select current position um, so and then I don't know whatever number it tells you to um, and then it will place that number in the exact spot that you're in. And then one other thing it's going to have you do is uh, like center or right align. Um, just make sure you're in that and it will go ahead and do that for you. And you can double click to get out or uh, click the close at the top. Uh, let's go ahead and look at using the, the source. Um, so we go ahead and select this word right here. And then we're going to go into uh, review. And we're going to click the source. And what it'll do is it'll give me an option to change the word here. And uh, we'll go ahead and select victory, uh, that down arrow, and click insert. And it doesn't make sense in this, but at least we went ahead and changed the word. It's going to have you do that. Another thing it's going to have you do is spec uh, to check the spelling and grammar. And it already pulled up one. You can click change. It'll, I think it tells you to um, ignore names. So... We went ahead and changed that. And then one other thing it's going to have you do is the find and replace. Now I'm on the home tab for this and I'm going to go ahead and click replace. For this we'll go ahead and do Mars and we'll just replace it with planet. And you could do them individually and it will go ahead and or uh, and it, if you click replace just that it'll replace them one by one but you can also just click replace all and you we know here that uh, we had four different replacements made so we can click that and click close and that's all done another thing it's going to have you do is um, do a first line end in on a bunch of paragraphs so you'll go ahead and select your text it might be one paragraph it might be four um, but go ahead and select your text from there um, you're going to want to go you can be on the home tab paragraph dialog box and it's going to be in the indentation section and under special you're going to click first line and I think it tells you 0.5 but if you needed to change it you could and then click OK and then notice every uh, paragraph is now indented by that much another thing it's going to have you do is to cut the text so we're going to go ahead and select this paragraph and we're going to cut the text there's multiple ways to do this I use the control X control plus X um, and that cuts or if you click up here and click cut Notice it disappears, but it's not gone completely. Now you have the option of pasting it uh, elsewhere. We'll go ahead and uh, select this first paragraph. Now I could hit Control plus V, which would paste it, or I can just click the paste up here. Notice that that paragraph now has been uh, put in the first spot, and all I did was cut and paste that. Something else that you're going to have to do is uh, referencing on this. So we're going to go to the Reference tab, 
and I think it tells you to change the style. So we'll go ahead and change it from APA and we'll do MLA. And from there, you're going to actually key in a couple of uh, sources. And so um, we'll go ahead and we're going to put our cursor here right before the period, and we're going to go ahead and create one. So um, on the reference tab again, we're going to click insert citation. I don't have any here. So I'm going to go ahead and click add new source. And we could do book, but there are a lot of other ways. Make sure that you select the uh, correct type of source so you won't have all the options. And then when you're keying this in, if it um, has a, an area that you don't have, click show all uh, fields so that it will drop that down. And then here, um, and the instructions, it's blurred out because this is automatically generated by Word for you. So let's go ahead and make up a book. We'll go ahead and do Sinclair. Brendan and I don't know um, and we'll go ahead and date our source um, we'll put Cape Coral here and then we'll go ahead and click OK and um, notice that it went ahead and populated um, your source here um, if I needed to put that source which is already in um, already loaded with the project I could put my cursor here and put that same source elsewhere and it does the same thing um, one other thing you're gonna have to do is to edit the source and add pages now um, all you need to do is right click on the source and click edit citation and I could put uh, page 10 and click OK and notice how it updates the source here if I right click again I can also edit the source so if you miss something um, maybe it tells you the year here um, another section is access year um, there's two I think on the project so you want to I think you're gonna have to update the source to put the actual year in here at some point um, just make sure you're putting that information in the correct spot so another thing it's gonna have you do is to create a works cited page and so it, the first thing it tells you to do is to go ahead and put your cursor before the work cited part and then we're gonna go ahead and go to layout I'm sorry yeah layout and then you're gonna click the breaks and we're just gonna put page and that's gonna drop that to a whole nother page from here it's gonna have you center this and then it's gonna have you go to the next line and that uh, that's been uh, already programmed into the next line and you're gonna go ahead and insert a bibliography so in order to do that we need to go back to the references tab and we're gonna add the bibliography now be careful here because you have some uh, predefined ones but that's not the one it wants you to insert it wants you to actually insert the insert bibliography page and it will go ahead and paste that in here for you now um, remember when I said you're gonna have to go back and update um, so let's go ahead and we're going to edit our source and uh, we'll go ahead and put the publisher as Mariner and we're going to click OK. Yes, we'll go ahead and update both of them. Now, the cool thing is down here you have this, but it's not updated with the information we just put in. So we're actually going to go ahead and right click and click update field and notice that how Mariner was put there. Um, just want to make sure you get that. Another thing you're going to have to do is insert a footnote. So um, let me just caution you, if you, uh, when we did our source, originally we put our cursor before the period. For this, you wanna put it after the period. And then we're gonna go back to our reference tab and we're gonna click insert footnote. And this is where you can type your note, whatever you want. Um, again, put it on the outside of the period, not on the inside. And then another thing it's going to have you do is actually modify this style. So we're going to go ahead and click in here. We're going to right click and we're going to click Notice how when I click the text here, it did not do what I needed to. I needed to actually click on the outside. And then we're going to click style. From here, we're actually going to click modify. And then just like we had before, I'm going to encourage you to go to format paragraph. And then one of the things it's going to have you do is do double space. And I do think that it has you increase the font size, um, but all of that from there and then click apply and notice it went ahead and changed that for me. Um, 